guys, can you able to see my screen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so I think we started uh, uh, our Linux on a uh, 26th. We started. We should uh, complete by this time, completely, but not completed. We'll see how much we can complete today. But first of all, we'll see. So Linux, Linux is a an operating system. Linux is a kernel. Linux based operating systems are there. Linux is a kernel. Okay, Linux based operating system that is we call it as the Linux distributions. Red Hat Enterprise Linux, Saint OS, Fedora, SUSE, Debian, Scientific Linux, Ubuntu, like so many type of Linux distributions are there. I am using here practical purpose Saint OS only, but industry means to learn Linux and to work with the Linux in organizations compulsory Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Okay, because there is a support is also provided by uh, Red Hat Enterprise. In Saint OS, uh, usually uh, direct support won't be there. But there is a certain features. We uh, future means there is a few things are uh, uh, better for learners for a Saint OS. So that's why I using a Saint OS here. So this is a Saint OS. We downloaded a full version. Full version and minimal version is there. So we downloaded and here it is minimum requirement to install a Saint OS or a Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7. One CPU or a 1.1 gigahertz CPU, 2 GB RAM, 20 GB hard disk is enough. Even though it works for a 1 GB RAM also. Okay. So it depends upon full version, minimal version, what you install, how many services you are running. So if you put a 1 GB RAM, 20 GB hard disk is also enough. OK, uh, these are all uh, virtualization related. I'm not Linux related. OK, so this is important one is 1 gigahertz processor, 1 GB RAM, 20 GB hard disk is enough. You put a 2 GB for full. That is motor will work. Recommended type 2 GB is recommended 1 GB is minimum. So when you are installing English India keyboard is English US or English India. OK, so network and host name you can fix the host name here. If you want to change, you can change the host name also. OK, so your date and time NTP on Kolkata for India. So this is the. Installation destination disk partitioning. If you don't do disk partitioning, automatically it will do it. OK, so. Look at here. Um, I select a U UEFI means your motherboard is UFI based motherboard, not BIOS based motherboard or a BIOS come UEFI based motherboard. So what it will debate? There is a UEFI partition is also there. So this is the directory slash board slash board slash EFI slash slash home swap. So these are a, a, a directories under slash. But what I trying to do is I create a separate separate. Partitions. For each of the thing. So for slash boot, I given a 1 GB. You can give um, a 1 GB is better because uh, 7 version. OK, so 200 MB is enough for a EFI. So because you are giving already 1 GB or you can give 1 GB, 1 GB is also good. For a slash, a slash is nothing but a whole Linux system. Entire Linux system is slash. So basically, 5 GB is enough. Okay, 5 GB or 10 GB is enough. Okay, 10 GB is smooth, better. Like that. So I give enough 40 GB like that. So okay, home 1 GB is also more than enough. Swap depends upon our requirements. We will do it. Swap is a virtual memory. Okay, so. Uh, usually we take a swap memory uh, for a, a Linux machine is uh, your RAM size into two. So your RAM is 2 GB, so swap memory is 4 GB. Your RAM is 4 GB, your swap memory is uh, 8 GB. Your RAM is 3 GB, swap memory is 6 GB. Like that we can able to take it. It's generally. So whatever it is, 
So we get selected a software selections like a tools, compatible libraries, development tools, kind of stuff. These are a kind of stuff, uh, monitoring tools and all. We given a root password, we created a user. This is installation part. Again, so different distributions, 1 GB RAM, 20 GB hard disk, and for slash boot, slash boot, slash EFI, slash home, slash and swap so these are the mainly this where is also there we'll create a sum minimum and maximum uh, maximum means so it depends upon our requirement we can choose how much maximum is required so this is on 26 so we discussed how to install i showed a how to install a linux system 27th we started with the what is operating system what is operating system a software or a program okay it is a kind of a software or a program interacts with user interacts with a user and hardware runs a application services and all so operating system initially written in assembly language then it is implemented in a c language mainly our unix operating system initially written in assembly language then it is implemented in a c language in operating system we have SOS and OS simple operating system network operating system simple operating system means it's a desktop based operating system network means server OSs. these are the examples of server operating system desktop operating system and in operating system single user single task single user multitask multi-user multitask multi-user multitask Linux and Unix are the examples of multi-user multitask Single user multitask is Windows operating system. Single user single task is DOS operating system. Unix is developed by Bell Laboratories. Initially, it is uh, written in assembly language, then it is a C language. So different type of distributions are came up, but it is a limited one only. And some are hardware fixed uh, uh, Unix operating systems. Some are open operating system. Anyway, it is anyway it is it's a very limited okay not large quantity people are not using only for server related and that to fix it to certain um, services hardwares like that linux store wall took a unix operating system and take the part of kernel and develop its own linux kernel so linux kernel is a, a open source he given as a open source anybody can able to take the source code of linux kernel and develop and distribute to uh, to uh, anyone okay so like this anyone ca can take linux kernel freely no need to pay anything just you can take the linux kernel and develop your own version of operating system and you can distribute you can sell it also no problem so there is a different things will come up. So last time I checked latest version of kernel is 5.17.4. Okay, so these are the things different type of Linux distributions. Linux and Windows compulsory know the few differences. So Linux is a open source. So anybody can take the Linux source code and develop. Basically Linux is a kernel and different type of Linux based OS is there. So when you say Linux or Linux OS, both are different. Linux is a kernel, Linux OS is both kernel and shell part. Anyway, it is a open source. Anybody can take Linux and develop and distribute their own operating system. Windows is not like that. Windows is a proprietary of Microsoft. It is not a open source. You can't take Windows source code and develop your own. That is not there. So no proprietary. It is a proprietary of Microsoft. So multiple distributions are there, no distributions only. It is Microsoft releasing different versions like a Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10 server, 2016, 2019, like that only. Linux is case into compulsory cap letters, small letters. Here it is. Caps and small, no volume. So it, everything is same for a Windows operating system. So powerful CLI uh, means Linux is basically CLI based operating system. Windows is a GUI based operating system. You can manage or modify kernel and shell. You cannot modify or can, uh, shell kind of stuff. Of course, 
virus free or a wireless uh, effect is uh, very less. Less hardware footprint on a Linux means it consumes very less hardware resources compared to Windows because of it is not completely GUI. Remote access with SSH and remote access is RDP, but remote access multi user, multi support is there, multi user, multi task, single user, single task. Not only this, there is a few more points also there, but at least try to tell at least five to six points from the Windows and Linux differences. Linux or any operating system has two points. One is kernel and shell. So kernel interacts with your hardware. Kernel manages hardware management, process management, network management, memory management, disk management kind of stuff. So kernel interacts with your hardware. So your how to process it and all. Shell interacts with your user applications. User, it provide a user interface. So different type of shells are there. Bonnie shell, Bonnie again shell, C shell, T shell, K shell kind of stuff. Linux use different file systems, ext3, ext4, xfs kind of stuff. Whereas the Windows file systems are FAT and NTFS. Network shared file systems are there, NFS, CFS file system. Of course, this is also comes under Linux only. OK, so there is a, a one more point. It is here I have written. So bootloaders, so when you are booting, uh, machine means you power on the machine. Machine is started. Now OS should be loaded. So to load the OS, we need a bootloader. To load the OS, we need a bootloader. So in Windows, boot MGR. Okay, in Linux, it is Grub. So latest version of Grub is Grub version 2. LIL also there. That is different operating systems. But in our enterprise Linux is Grub only. Okay, root user, regular user, we discussed already. We know root is a administrator of Linux. Okay. File system hierarchy also we discussed that is slash means root directory. Root directory means entire Linux system, entire Linux files, their directories, everything is under slash only. So it starts with a slash only, slash form, slash student, like that only it will start. Okay under slash only everything is under slash only slash boot stores the bootable files slash root stores root users home directory slash root is a root users home directory slash etc is a configuration file stores slash dev stores devices slash bin users command slash has been admins root command slash usr installed applications data documents kind of stuff slash home users home directories but different users having a, their own directories under slash like a slash home slash student slash home tanu slash samir like this slash where is for dynamic data slash where slash log slash where slash ww html slash where slash ftp slash PROC uh, pro process related uh, CPU info, mem info kind of files are there. Temporary files, last time we used this temporary only. OK, so it is a file stores temporarily deleted after 30 days from last access. If you are not using accessing the file for like next 30 days, the file automatically deletes. Slash MPT, uh, MNT, temporary mount point, so many other things are there. Very important, slash means entire Linux is under slash. Slash boot or slash boot slash EFI is belongs to bootable files. Root users home directory, regular users home directory. Your users commands, admin commands. Dev means devices. ETC configuration files, dynamic data files, temporary files. OK, so these are the things. OK, and I think I showed something about a Linux related one. SSH configuration, SSH key generation, 
So once your key is generated, we can access with the putty. Uh, we discussed how to access with the putty. Putty is an application, so we can connect remote uh, machines using SSH, Telnet, or login. Okay, and uh, RS232. Okay, so that is what I explained here. So to generate a key, SSH key generator. When you generate a key, it is generate dot SSH folder and inside we have a two files. This is the private key. This is public key. How to understand dot pub public key? OK, so the key is okay. encrypted key is required to access remotely for connecting remotely. We require a encrypted key. OK, so when you are connecting, so definitely it will load that key. OK, so. When you log in with root, so it will show as type. OK, if normal user, it is a dollar symbol. Uh, multiple uh, things I showed like, you know, alt control F1, F2, F3. Yeah, here it is. We started with the commands PWD present working directory. Who am I? Current user login, actual login, not such users who who log into your Linux machine. And also we discussed the echo command. Echo uh, is print. What are the statement you are given? It print like this echo. Host name to see the your host name, host name space hyphen yes, host name space hyphen i. Date to check the current date and time. Okay. So this is also we done. So slash and uh, dollar user means which user you are. What is your home directory? What is your home directory? Uh, echo with uh, certain commands also we can able to run dollar slash home slash hyphen yes. Another command is history. So what is the history? It will uh, history of the commands you are executed in this particular terminal or a user. Users commands history. User command with history. Okay, login with one user. History is different from other users. So compulsory check the users history. And this is repeat the Butler history point like a Butler command. So there is a history number. So you can repeat to repeat like this. So with exclamatory mark history number. This is repeat the last command. There is a different help things are there. Command iPhone iPhone help to know the options of the uh, Butler command like that. Next one is manual. So manual man command is there. Man and the command will display the details of the command. What is the command? How to use the command? What are the options of the command? Same thing goes for info command P info command like that. So this is a date options. We have a date options also there. Date formats, different way of formats are there to check it. Calendar, calendar of the month, calendar of the particular year, calendar of the month and year. We can able to see it. EXPR expressions mainly arithmetic expressions, addition, subtraction, division, multiplications, and a reminder. Uh, when I check again, so there is a lot of spelling mistakes. Reminder generates reminder. BC is a basic calculator. So this is mainly used for a script writing or a one single expression. This is completely a uh, calculation purpose only. OK, so control D or a control C to come out from it. And how to create a file touch is a creating empty file. OK, touch is a command use it to create a empty file. You can create single file and you can create a multiple file. You can create a sequence of files and you can create a it's a combination files also. There is a wild cards also there. Star means all combinations, single character, two characters, specific uh, characters. This is like a range. OK, like this. OK, so wild cards also very, very important in a Linux while you are working with the Linux. So delete the file is RM. Sometimes we require a uh, delete the files with a force that is hyphen F. You have to use it. 
creating directory mkdir so to go to the directory inside the directory cd directory to come out from the directory cd space dot dot present working directory mkdir we can create a multiple directories you can check the what is the directory content you can check what is the directory content you can create a files once you go inside and you can create a files okay like that, that is again so just I want to show, show you the commands on to delete the directory to delete the directory rmdir. So you can delete the directories directly rmdir. But this command is used to delete empty directory, not a directory contains something. Okay, if directory is not empty, directory is not empty, then what to do? rm space hyphen r directory name. Sometimes it will throw an error, so then it will like an error means omitting directory or a directory uh, some portions. So you don't want that anything. You want to delete it very forcefully. Rm space hyphen rf forcefully delete the directory directory and it contains everything will be deleted. Like that will. So it will ask this kind of questions. So to avoid this type of things, use f. So touch wildcards mkdir rmdir rm space hyphen r. This is on 27th. On 28th, we can see again how to create a file, empty file with a touch command. How to create a file with cat command, cat greater than file name. It will create a file or replace the existing file content. Replace the existing file content. So cat space greater mark here it is double so cat space double greater and file if file is not existing it will create a file if file is existing what are the data you are enter this will be append to the append to the existing file append to the existing file content means it will add bottom of the lines see this is file content this is two lines are there. So then it is become like this. It is append to the existing file content. That is how to create a file with the data. So this is I think uh, uh, copying files or uh, moving files, creating locations guys. So always paths are very important. Locations, current location, PWD, present working directory, and which where where you want to copy like this. This will understand only by practice only. Passes only understand by practice, not by videos, not by anything. Only by practice. Always put yourself a question or to do it. Try and try, you will understand. Okay. At least it will take like a one or two hours daily, two days. Just one day, one hour. Just try for a two to three days. You will be master in the paths. Okay, how many commands you know? Like you know, hundred commands, two hundred commands. But if you don't know paths, nothing you learn. You don't know line etc. Just you buy hard data commands. That's it. Okay, typing a command is not a learning line. X already I told. Okay, so this is uh, MKDR. Like you want to create a directory uh, along with a parent, so you can use hyphen p. Next one is copying command. CP is the command. Copy command is CP. Source and destination. So copy the file from source to destination. Copy the file from source to destination. What is the source file like this? And so destination file. Like this, if you copy, you are copying a file from one file to another file. It is like a you are creating duplicate file without linking okay just you are creating another file like you copy a file and save with other name that's it okay so you can copy a file from one location to another location so compulsory if it this is a directory compulsory tell slash after that one so why because tell this is a directory if directory is not existing it throw an error if directory is existing it copy the file 
if directory is not existing, what it will do? CP. If directory is not existing, not a directory. If directory is not existing and you didn't tell a slash, what happened? It create a file. It, it will create a file. File is a command to check the what type of file it is. Okay. File or directory it is. So this is a copying files, different ways of copying files. Just I'm telling CP copy file. Next move MV. MV command use it to move or and rename also we can use it. We can use it for a renaming and moving also. So you want to rename the file. You can rename using MV command. So you can rename it. So like this. We want to move the file means like a cut paste. So I'm cutting from my uh, this location and paste into this particular location. MV, your file name and destination. Okay, so copy means copy paste means both the sites files are existed. Cut paste. Move means cut paste means it remove from here and paste into somewhere. In a copy, there is something I forget to uh, repeat like this. Yes. You want to copy a directory to another directory. You want to copy entire directory to another directory. So you have to use iPhone R like a recursive type CP space iPhone R like this directory and copying data to to data four. Here it is. I want to copy content of the directory to another directory content of this directory to another directory. All content means slash star like this. All content. So in the data one, it can be there is a directories and files. So why to take risks? Then I will take iPhone R. For moving, it is very simple. No need to use iPhone R. Move is like a cut paste kind of stuff. You can move a directory to another directory. You can move a directory to another directory or we can move content of the directory. I think it is done. Yeah, we remove already we seen RM for a deleting files. RM space hyphen F for deleting files with force. Remove uh, directories for empty directory RM DIR. If directory contains something, so not empty directories RM space hyphen RF. F means for force, R means recursive. CP, MB, RM, RM, DIR, RM space, hyphen R. Next, we discussed about a less, more, head, tail. Less is a command, so to check the file. Normally, cat commands for reading the file. Also, we can use less and more. Less is like a, you can read it line by line from st starting to ending, ending to Starting, we can search the uh, Butler lines by using keyword using slash keyword like this. You can able to use it. We can read the data by page by page, line by line, or top to bottom, bottom to top. We can able to go for it. More is not like that. Like less, less. In more, less options are there. Means top to bottom, you can read it. Page by page, line by line, we can able to read it. We can search with the keyboard. You can use a queue for quitting from the reading, or if you reach the bottom of the file, you can quit from more automatically. Less having a very good options. Less is more helpful than a more. Okay, like that. Uh, but important thing is in a more we can't go from bottom to top at present at, at present my knowledge so you can't go from bottom to top only top to bottom completed that's it next one is head head is by default display the first 10 lines of the file first 10 lines by default it display first 10 lines head is a by default first 10 lines you know some people will uh, tell an answer how to display first 10 lines. Add space hyphen 10 slash uh, file name like this. 
not required. So you don't give any option means first time lines. You want to display first five lines, then you have to require the option iPhone 5 for first five lines, iPhone 1, first line, okay, iPhone 20, first 20 lines. Tail, last 10 lines by default, iPhone 5 means last five lines, last line, last 15 lines, like that. So the number indicates number of last lines you want to display. WC, word count. Number of lines, number of words, number of character array byte count, it is showing. Actually, it is like a size of the file. Okay, number of lines, number of words, like that. So options are there, WC space hyphen L, only number of lines you want, only number of words you wanted, number of uh, byte count array character you wanted. OK, so DO is a disk on the file, means size of the file you can get it by DO. DO, DO space hyphen H, DO space hyphen B, DO space hyphen K. K represent kilos. H means human readable. B means bytes. Another is pipe. First command will generate, when you put a command, it generate output. You put this output, as the input for the second command. So then we use pipe. Like a head space slash etc slash fast wd by default first 10 lines will be displayed. Instead of displaying first 10 lines, it give input to the it give input to the WC. So it will count how many lines are there, then it will display the 10. So like that, you can able to do it. LS, LS is a current working directory, current working directory contain both directories and files. So it will display by LS, but you can count it by using WC. How many number of directories and files in the current directory by using like this number of lines. We can get it so that automatically. Number of files and directories in a data for. OK. Next is a T command. T command, what are the output of the first command? They put it in a file. What are the output of the first command? Put it in a particular file. Next, we discussed about a, a text editors, gedit, nano, va editors. OK. So gedit is a genome editor, so GI based editor. OK, text based editors are nano, VI or a Vim editor. Nano editor is a very simple. Just open any file, nano file name, edit it, control X for exit, save it and do it. VI is a very important. Open any files for editing with a VI editor. Iphone, uh, press I to insert mode. Once you are edited, completed, then escape for come out from insert mode and go to command mode. So and put a colon, then you can see the colon in the bottom of the screen and put a WQ for save and quit. Okay. So that is VA editor and also I told VA editor options, additional options are there. You can go through that one. Here it is a sort command we discussed. Okay, sort command. To sort the your file data lines in an alpha numerical order, alphabetical order. Exactly say alphabetical order. It is a reverse order, iPhone R. This is you can sort the particular ca a colon. Like you want to uh, sort based on this colon. You can do it. If your colon having a some numerical uh, values then you want to sort it, you can use iPhone N. Okay, like this. Next one is cut. The cut is field cutter. So you want to get display of the Putler field or Putler fields. You can do it by using F as for a columns. So only one column or a multiple columns. You can see multiple column. Column number one, column number three, column number one, column number four. 
this is a field cutter that means like a um, character wise it is displaying one single character based on the spacing or a multiple characters or a sequence of characters. Paste is, is a combining two files horizontally, not appending manner side by side. So this is my one file. This is another file. I put a paste file one, file two kind of stuff. Then it will display like this. Next is TR command for a translating. You can translate one type of character into another type of character. Capital letters to small letter, small letter to capital letter. Or uh, you can one character with a different things. So here I change A to Z. It means, sorry, A I change it to Z. So wherever the A is there, it become capital Z. Okay, here A, B, C to X, Y, Z. Wherever the A is there, X, B, Y, C, Z. Like that. So depends upon this is only for display purpose. Sort, cut, paste, translate. This is very, very important. One of the very, very important Linux command is grep. Grep is for a search for a field. OK, uh, or a line. Based on your keyword. I want to display how many lines having a clerk like this. I find I ignore the case sense too. So Sometimes your keyword in the cap letters, small letters, uh, or a capital and small combination letters. So I represent ignore the case sensitive. So you can able to get the display of those lines with this keyword. OK, so like that I created a file and uh, finally I want to check it. So important is. Uh, yeah, I for uh, ignore the case sensitive. We display the lines those who are not contains the keyword. OK, hyphen V clerk means. Accept the clerk word. OK, if line does not matches with the clerk word, it will display not matched lines. Unmatched lines. Hyphen C number of lines having a clerk. Hyphen N number of lines means sorry. The lines which is having a clerk. It will display along with the line number along with the line number. And also here I, I put it. Cap savant is the keyword is start and start of the line. Then it will display if the, this keyword matches. With the lines, so if it is a savant is matches with the four lines, four lines are displaying. But when I put a cap. So it will check in these four lines. The keyword must be start of the line. Keyword must be start of the line. That line will be displayed. Next. The keyword after keyword I put a dollar meaning is if the keyword. Is end of the line. Display the, that line only end of the line. If the keyword is end of the line display that line only. Remaining are same like a iPhone N iPhone V. Iphone V means if keyword is not there. In, what, in, in the lines. If keyword is not there, display those line only. OK, unmatched. This is grab guys, one of the very important. OK. This is on 28th. 29th. So. Some people not completed by that, that time, so I started a network management also. So what is the network management? How to check IP address, how to manage the network kind of stuff we see, right? So here it is. Normal uh, Windows troubleshooting I've written, but also in a Linux. Compulsory know your adapter name. To disable the adapter and enable the adapter, for example, you are uh, you change your network IP address is not changing according to your network. So you have to disable and enable the network. If down your adapter name, if up adapter name for enable and disable adapter to check the IP address IP config IP space ADDR NM CLI. Where is CLI? L is gone. NM CLI network manager CLI. If config. IP space ADDR and CLI. P 
ping auto ping hyphen c3 c2 represent number of queries by default in windows four queries are there but by default in linux it is unlimited queries unlimited queries complete uh, continuous queries are there so you can limit the queries by using these numbers one query two queries three queries like that you can able to use it okay so if you are using a, a service like you want to start or restart the services in a six edition five edition seven editions you can use these commands service network status service network restart and check the status instead of restart it is start restart stop kind of stuff also there next if you are using a seven so you can follow this or this this is system ctl okay status will come in middle network will go to last this is network uh, means not a network any services system ctl status restart start stop okay enable disable and the service name here is a network is a service okay so same like yesterday i troubleshoot uh, manisha pc earlier but not succeeded we installed but still there is some ten problem is occurred but again yesterday we got a problem i think now it is no problem we we'll see so nmcli device this is a different network management kind of stuff commands also there to enable disable kind of stuff okay so i'm not going with that one i'm going to manage the network related um that, that's it so network management other uh, management i will discuss but important thing is how to check ip address if config ip ip space addr nmcli these are the commands to check the ip address okay to disable or enable the adapter this is if down if up commands we use it know your adapter is always a better one okay nmti is a better useful part next also we see user management how to add a user how to check the user information how to check the group information how to check the password information okay how to modify user how to add a user how to modify user how to add a group how to add a user with a particular group secondary group delete users also we discuss network and uh, uh, user management i will we will discuss later not at present okay it's a com coming again uh, in a, in a, in that point right so i'm going with again basic parts find and locate to locate the file or uh, find the file in the system to locate the file or find the file in the system find is a, another side of the command it will search the file in your given location okay so slash means search in a entire linux system pass wd is a keyword so any file or any file contains pass wd name in it so search it okay like this this symbol represent this symbol represent search in your home directory search in your home directory search in slash etc okay search pass wd file in the slash etc directory search in your slash home not specific home directory slash home under slash home anything is there search in a current directory search in a current directory this search location search in a your your home directory okay search in this particular directory such in this particular line so that is a find command and also i told something like that how to display 20th line in the pass wd file 20th line in the pass wd so when you put this command automatically it will display first 20 lines last line will display by tail so it is i use pipe like this pipe grab very useful commands okay and also you can use scd scd command use it for so many 
place is open in different ways. I can use a CD command. OK, but also it is useful for here also. OK, so this is. Point in a 29, so network management user management will discuss later. So this is a VA related. Insert mode. Command mode for escape. WQ for save and quit. W for save, Q for quit. So you want to quit with the force. So then it is like this. Sometimes you went to the file that is a read only file and you edited it. Now you, ca you cannot save it. So you want to quit. You can't quit. So you must give the exclamatory mark for flex force quit. In VA editor, you once you are open a file, it is very big file. You want to go to start of the line GG. You want to go to end of the file capital Z. You are to undo the changes. You insert on a cursor, insert on a cursor. If you want to insert the cursor at start of the line, you want to insert the cursor at end of the line. You want to insert the next uh, next line. You want to create a new line. You want to insert a new line next to the cursor line. You want to insert new line above the current line. You want to copy the file. Sir, you want to copy the line and paste. You want to copy multiple lines. Why? Why? You want to paste so P. DD delete. You want to delete a line. You want to delete multiple lines. You want to delete a word. You want to delete a multiple words. You want to delete uh, from cursor to end of the line. D dollar. So X is like a delete. Okay, so delete. So after cursor, whatever it is, it will delete. Capital X is like a backspace. What are the in front of cursor is there? It will delete. Small r represent replace the character. Capital R represent replace the line uh, characters from cursor to end of the line. From cursor. From cursor. You can search data using a keyword by escape colon slash your keyword. You want to search the keyword if it is located in a multiple places. Then you can use like this. You want to search and replace, then use yes slash your whole world. What are the word you want to change it and change the word? This is you want to change the word in the entire file. In the entire file, you want to say change entire file, the whole world with a new word. So you can use percentage. Yes, of course, slash percentage G percentage slash g percentage z something is there but this is also working here if you want to edit a file in a particular line bi space plus 21 or 20 or 5 or 10 depends upon which line you want to go directly to edit you can directly go like this so this is about a va editor link next one is we discussed about linking files a file is linked to another file. You can link one file to another file, right? In the linking, we have a soft link and hard link. Okay, we have a soft link and hard link. Soft link is like a shortcut file. Soft link is like a shortcut file. Hard link is like a duplicate file. What are the data in the original file? Same in a hard link and soft link. Okay, same. Okay, so data is same. Data is we can access from original file, hard link file, and soft link file. Okay, size of the original file. <laughs> hard link file is same. If original file or any if you add more data, file size is increases. Like a original file size increases, hard link file increases. And soft link file, no changes. It is having a standard size only. Inode value, inode table value is same for a original file and hard link file is the same and different for a soft link. Okay, if you delete original file, hard link file is accessible, 
and softlink file is invalid. Softlink file is invalid. Okay. This is the uh, hard link and soft link. To create hard link and soft link, so like this is a hyphen yes. So where it is? This is soft link file creation. Ln space hyphen yes original file and soft link file. Okay, file will be created. You don't need to create a file and then linking. Not like that. Okay, hard link file. So hard link file, original file. And hard link file. Ln only. Here it is hyphen S. There is no options here. Okay. Remember to create a soft link hyphen S. To create a hard link, no additional option. Only command is Ln only. So remaining are entirely. And uh, what is this inode? Inode. In a line X, in a line X, everything is a file only. Everything is a file only. So all files information stores in I note tables. Each file having a, a separate separate table. So in I note table contains the particular file information like a, what is that file? What is the user ID? Group ID means username, group name. Permissions, user permissions, group permissions, other permissions, size of the file, uh, when it is created, what is the last modifications, uh, link count, any ACLs are there, okay, location of the file, uh, where is the data, file data stores in data block information, SC Linux content information is available in the inode table. Inode table. Okay, that is linking soft link hard link inode what is inode inode table contains information of file what are the information of file 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 user uh, group means user id group id permissions read write execute permissions of the file size of the file last modifications okay creation of the file link counters ACL, uh, any access permissions are there. Location of the file, data, where the data is stored. Okay, data block information and SC Linux content information also. Next, ls commands in ls hyphen a for uh, all all files, including hidden files. Hyphen a. So whatever it is all files specific directories you want to see the directory on directory what it is hyphen l is more useful to see list of the permissions who is the owner size date name link everything i know hyphen r recursive smaller for reverse order hyphen t time based z for sc linux content next i discussed about a path Compulsory knowing the path, absolute path, and the relative path. What is absolute path and relative path, guys? So you are accessing a file based on your present working directory location. Present location, you are accessing a file. So that is called a absolute path. What is, sorry, relative path? What is absolute path? You are accessing a file from slash. You are accessing a file or a directory. Okay from root slash slash from slash student slash etc slash pass wd slash etc slash pass wd what it is absolute path okay slash temp absolute path absolute path okay the tilt represent our home directory i'm copy a file from here to here this directory so obviously it is complete. The another one we discuss uh, second means uh, yeah. I O redirections input output redirections. OK, so for any command you are giving a input from the file. So we use this uh, less than symbol. Like this. OK, 
So what is the greater than symbol it is? It is output redirection. OK, meaning is when you are uh, putting a command, the command generate output or error or both. Output, error and both. Output, error or output and error. Both will be generated. You want to redirect output to a file. So command and uh, greater than and a file name. So output of this command instead of displaying on the screen instead instead of like you put a command output will show on the terminal. Now you put like this output is not display on the screen. It go to the file. But it replace the content of this file or create the file or replace the content of the existing file. If you give double greater, if you give double greater, output of the file, output, sorry, output of the command, output of the command will go to the file. It either it will create a file or append to the existing file content. It add the bottom of the file content. Next error redirection. Error redirection use number two greater, not double greater, number two greater. So if this command generate an error, the error go to this file. If this command generate an output, okay, it's generate on the screen. Output shows error redirection means output shows on the terminal, error go to file. Output shows on the terminal, error goes to file. So that is this error redirection. Ampersand output and error don't display on the screen. It go to your file only. Output and error will don't display on the screen. Display on it will go to the file only. I don't want to save both the things. And of course, I given uh, other things also. And there is a picture uh, also I given right. So like this. So this is for appending. Output of the file output of this command will go to this file in an append manner. Okay. Output of the file. Oh, sorry, output of this command. Output of this command will go to this file or replace the content of the file with this output. Error shows on the screen. Output goes to file. Output goes to this file in append. Error goes to this file. Error of errors will goes to this file. Output shows on the screen. Output shows on the screen. Error go to slash dev slash null means like a trash. You can't see that output again. Sorry, you can't see the error again. Can't see the error again. Okay. Output shows on the screen. Error go to trash. Okay, output and error will go to this file. Okay, so this is. Okay, this is a, a part time only so it's like this. If this command execute this command, execute this command, whether it is output is successful or not successful means either it is output or error, put it in a trash. Just execute the command. If command executed successfully, means it's a successful outcome. Give echo result is access. Means successful. First one is success and do the second one. If first one is failure, do the second one. Meaning is like this. This is like a logical end gate. This is logical R gate type. Next one we discuss about a CH mod, CH1 and CH GRP also. CH mod, we have a two types of CH mods are there means changing permissions in two types. One is symbolic mod, another one is absolute mod. So this is the permission set on the file. Read, write, execute, read, write, execute, read, write, execute. The first portion, this one is for a user, this for a group, this is for a others. Read, write, execute, R, W, X. U means user, group, O, others, A for all. You want to add a permission plus, you want to remove minus, you want to replace equal to. Only owner of the file, only owner of the file 
and a root user can able to change the permissions. You can't change it for a other users. OK, if you want to add a permission, others can write the permission. Others want to add a permission, write permission. OK. OK, others want to add a permission. For group and others, you want to remove the write permission. For others, you want to remove the write permission. You want to add a read and write for others. You want to replace the permission of group. You want to replace the write per permission of the group with the write. You want to remove the write permission to uh, users, groups, and others. You can use like this and I'll like this also. Okay, I find sorry, A minus W or U G O I find W. Like that, you can be able to use it. Okay, so like this. Um, yeah, scripted files require a, a executable permission. Regular files don't require a executable permissions. Next, absolute mode. R represent for W represent two. X represent one. So R W X. So if you want to change the permission full set, not a adding a simple read permission or write permission to user or a group or others. So I'm changing entire set of permissions. So what are the set of the permission earlier? We don't mind. So we want only desired output only. OK, so like this. We can do it 640 means 640. 6 represent 4 plus 2 means read and write. Read. No permissions. Read, write, read, write, read, write. 666. Read, 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 read. 444. Read, write, read, write. Nothing. 660. Same as for a 770. Okay. 555 means on directories or files. Read, write, execute, read, write, execute, read, write, execute. 777. Read, write, execute, read, write, execute, read, write, execute. 555. Read, execute, read, execute, read, execute. Okay. Read execute. You want this kind of option means user can able to read and execute. Group members and others cannot touch this one. Okay, so that is seven zero 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 seven zero zero. Okay, you want a, a change from here to here seven five five. So these are the numbers seven 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 six 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 means full permissions. 640655 like this you can able to write this is up to second. yesterday class we have seen already ch mod okay and uh, we seen how to change owner of the file using ch one so owner of this file is student 17a i want to change the ownership to manisha ch one manisha cf1 why it is showing operation not permit? Owner of the file can be changed by root or a sudo ur. So I went to the root, then I, I go to that particular file and check it. It's a student 17a ch1 manisha c1. I change owner of the file to manisha. So manisha is a owner now. Okay. Next. How to change the group chgrp to change the group owner on the file or directory. So now the group owner is student 17a. Now I want to change the group owner chgrp cts and a file name or a directory name. Only root can able to do it or a sudo your. Okay, chgrp you are changing group ownership on the file to cts. Initially, it is student 17A. This is group ownership. I changed. Okay, so I I, asked, I try to check where is the CTS in this particular one and uh, other kind of stuff. I checked it. It's a different point. Yeah, better to check how to use the grep efficient way. You can understand. So how to change one or other group? It is simple. CH1, your uh, username and file or directory name. To change the group name, 
chgrp group name file name or a directory name okay so here it is this is the file uh, user is latif group is cts i want to change change owner to pragati change group to hyderabad so like this ch1 pragati ch uh, group hyderabad like this so you have to put a two commands here otherwise you can do it with a single command ch1 pragati colon group name so obviously user and group will be changed in a single command also okay next if you have a directories and contain so many files simply you can give a recursive simply you can give a recursive see this is the directory dc1 user and group and under that one there is certain files these are the user and group i want to change the user as a manisha and group is hyderabad hyd sorry so i changed it by using hyphen r so i changed the user and group on dc1 and the content of the dc1 also at a time by using hyphen r so last uh, i it explained um, importance of these commands in our like 11g when we are installing this is the thing u mask what is the u mask value u mask value defines default permissions on the file or directory when you are creating so how to check it u mask it will display it how to calculate subtract it from the full permissions you'll get this kind of permission you will get it you can change the u mask value by as well as done the your requirement okay so i'm not going so that so i i also explained one more thing that is get fsel set fsel you can add additional user access like in your windows we have a security tab there we are adding a extra user permission like a read and write or read and write deny yellow permission kind of stuff same thing we can able to do it like that only get fsel and set fsel get fsel display the permissions on the particular file or directory set fsel we can modify means we can add or remove the user or a group permissions this is i want to add pragati user to read and write permissions on this particular file additionally okay set fsel hyphen m u colon pragati colon rw so like that you will get it see user particular user having a original owner is student 17a but additional user is also can able to access so when you use get fsel set fsel kind of stuff means set fsel you change something so it will get plus mark here means additional user is accessing this is for adding a particular group additionally the original group is hyd but you are adding so how to remove using x you want to remove x simple user or a group you have to specify here okay i think uh, get fsel set fsel so last one yesterday we discussed about a process management ps stop kill three commands are required ps means report a snapshot of current process when you put a ps command that time what are the process is there it will display only ps command display on nothing about a your terminal only but ps space hyphen e ef au x ax or aux we can useful so you have to do it and get the outcome next one is customized one so it is ps hyphen e hyphen ef aux and this is customized one so remember every process having a process id every process uh, has a may have a parent or may have a child process okay so every process may have a process id must have process id is compulsory for any process and the parent process also there okay sometimes parent process is also important it displays to kill the process kill space process id 
Okay, so if you put a PS space hyphen E, it will display only process ID, TTY, time, and CMD. Okay, so check your process and you want to kill the process, kill that process ID. So when you are using like this, it will show as a terminated. So PS space hyphen EF, this is the kind of output you can able to see. User ID, process, process ID. Okay, see something other information, finally CMD. PS space AUX, it display everything, process, PID, CPU, how much CPU it is taking. Okay, percentage mem, like that it will display. You can customize based on your outcome. So instead of what are the things it is there, what are it is there, like that, instead of that one, you can customize user, PID, PPID, CPU, MAM, NI, CMD, like that, you can able to get it. So this is the customized one. So only, I want these lines only, I don't want any everything. Next one is, out of that one, I want to see only the butler command only. So then I use a pipe and a grab also. Okay. So this is your yes and kill. Killing your process. Second, another hand, in a killing process, there is a few things are there. Uh, iPhone 9 for uh, killing the process, iPhone 15 for terminate the process, iPhone 20 for stop the process. Okay, so again, if you don't use kill process ID or kill space iPhone 15 process ID, both are same, both are terminate the process. Okay, by default, terminate the process. You want to kill the process, I find nine. Difference between terminate the process and kill the process is, terminate process means stop process immediately and end it there only, okay? Right click end process. Kill process will kill the process and their child process and everything will be closed, instant killing. Of course, there is a few more things I want to check it, that is, how to tell nice, re nice, stop, and um, of course, one or two uh, pro, uh, job management. Actually, I want to tell that one first, but we have taken a lot of breaks in between, very slowly we are going. I hope you are, uh, if you got understand, that is very important. Okay, just for revise, like you, you should not forget what we learn. If you don't know, that is different. But if you forget what you learn, that is danger. Okay. So today we'll see about a um, background process, foreground process, and a few other things now. Okay. Guys, got it? Understand? Okay. Yes. Okay. So then take a small break. Take a 10 minutes break is enough, I think. 